Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Research Nomics, a video lecture series on the subject Research Methods in Public Administration. This is Ronald Alan Pakana, your research instructor. Today, we will be discussing about statement of the problem, significance of the study, scope and limitation, and definition of terms. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we go through our research journey. For our topic outline, we will begin with what is statement of the problem. And then, we'll give an example of statement of the problem. This is followed with the discussion on what is significance of the study. And then, an example of significance of the study. Next is the scope and limitation. To be followed by the example of scope and limitation. And then, we'll dive in with what is definition of terms. Lastly, is an example of definition of terms. So, what is statement of the problem? It is an interrogative statement that the researcher wishes to seek the answer. And then, it is a question which is researchable and not merely answerable with yes or no. Here is an example of statement of the problem. So it is stated here that this study aims to answer the following questions. First, you have the demographic profile of the consumers. And then what is the consumer satisfaction on the service quality of the waterworks in terms of the staff attitude, information, professionalism, and the rest? And the third one is, is there a significant difference on the customer satisfaction when grouped according to profile? This question asks whether or not uh, there is a significant difference between the customer satisfaction of residents when grouped according to age, sex, educational attainment, and monthly income. Now, we turn to the significance of the study. So this provides information to the reader on how the study will contribute. This must be specifically stated, however, what the study will contribute and who will benefit from it. Here is an example of significance of the study. So in this research, the result of the study would benefit the following. We have the local government unit, the waterworks, and other researchers as well. We now turn to the scope and limitation. So on one hand, scope is the section of your research paper that is where you list what you are doing. Basically, all you need to do is outline and list everything that you are doing as part of the research paper. On the other hand, limitation. This section of your research paper where you set out all the boundaries that you will face. You need to explain how far the project will go and where the research will stop. Here is an example of scope and limitation. In this study, it stated that it will only circle around the nine barangays of the municipality of which the waterworks is providing. As to its target respondents, it is only the household of the nine barangays which are using the public water provision. Also, the service quality parameters will be measured from the respondents to get the level of customer satisfaction of waterworks. We now turn to the last section of the first chapter of our research paper, the definition of terms. It is a section where the technical terms present in the research are defined. Here are some tips in making the definition of terms must have an introductory statement. Define each term in complete sentences. Arrange the terms according to alphabetical order and give both technical and operational definition. Here is an example of the definition of terms. It started with an introductory statement that states that this study contains keywords. 
The keywords are conceptually and operationally defined in this section for better understanding. And then the keywords, especially the factors present in the study, are defined one after the other. The examples of the statement of the problem, significance of the study, scope and limitation, and definition of terms are posted in our Google Classroom. So kindly check it out. Okay, we now turn to your main task number four. You are to make your statement of the problem, significance of the study, scope and limitation, and definition of terms. And then, you have to submit a Word file to our Google Classroom. The deadline for this will be on or before October 11, 2021. Should you have any questions, you can contact me through the following outlets. This has been Ronald Alan Pakana, and this is Research Nomics. <laughs>